Well, hey everybody, in this video, somebody, one of you guys, watched our video, uh, relationship videos we were doing, and uh, sent us a question, we're gonna answer it. We're gonna call this video, Should I Ask Her Out? So, the uh, message goes like this, hey Serge, what's up? Uh, I just watched your video you posted, and I have a situation where I'm not sure exactly what the best thing to do. <laughs> so, pretty exciting, huh? Usually, whenever you're in some kind of situation like that, just in anything in life, just take action, do something. Don't be sitting around. God can't steer a parked car. So he goes on to write, I met this really nice, attractive Colombian girl and got her Snapchat. I've been talking to her for nine, 10 days, been having really good flirty conversations daily. Yeah, it's kind of a while you've been talking to her. Um, so you've already made a connection with her through, you, you know, nine, ten days, right? That's plenty of time. You know, mm -hmm. she would have stopped talking to you if she didn't want to continue. Um, and I've been having really good flirty conversations daily, uh, just at night and a little during the day, not too much because I don't want to be on my phone all day. And we definitely both have interest in each other. Yeah, so you know she's interested in you. Um, problem is she only speaks a little English and she uses Google Transport Translate to have complicated conversations. Whoa, buddy, you don't even need to get into complicated conversations on just a chat, you know? <laughs> so um, that's already almost overdoing it, I would say. But okay, so she's investing a lot, you know, if- um, If she uses translate, copy-paste, yeah, copy-paste. Yeah. So she's, you know, high interest there. Um, I only know basic Spanish um, and, and to have simple conversations. I, I would have already asked her out, but I'm just not sure, will we be able to communicate with each other? Say if we go walk together, eat ice cream, meet up at a local event, what do you do in this case? When would you act and what's your general advice? Don't wanna wait till she's fluent. Of course, you don't wanna wait till she's fluent. Dasha sometimes doesn't seem all the way fluent, but, uh, and I'm not, I don't think I'll ever be all the way fluent in Russian. <laughs> but we communicate well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you don't need to know much of any language. And there's not much to speak to go get ice cream or whatever first time to meet. You know, even second time, even third time going, uh, borrowing my paddleboard and going swimming and checking out the ocean. Um, you, it's, it's, you already have a connection. So, yeah, go for it, ask her out, and, and would be my advice. But he went ahead and later wrote, um, uh, actually a good opportunity came up and I pulled a question and I'll set to meet her Saturday. I'm still curious what your thoughts are on, on cross-lingual dating, general tips for Saturday, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so way to go, going out on Saturday. I thought I'll make this video right away as soon as I get the message and Maybe you could watch it and then message me, see how it goes. And maybe everyone in the comments could give you tips too. So, uh, what would you say? Um, of course, language barrier, barrier is kind of hard, especially when you're getting to know each other and you want to talk a lot and ask questions. But uh, I still think that language is a tool and uh, I spoke no English at all when I came to the country, but now I'm speaking, so I'm, I'm speaking, so it's possible to learn and uh, it's impossible to learn to, like, if you don't have a connection, if you don't have chemistry, that's what you have to pay attention to. What she's Language. trying to say is kiss her right away. No, I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, to see that if you have a connection and chemistry when you see each other. Um, yeah, my tip for Saturday would be, uh, it, it seems like she, she's interested in you quite a bit, interested in you just after a few days of messaging to go out, make sure you start building a, um, a relationship, like a lover type of a relationship where you, she do, doesn't just chat with you as a friend as someone she could go have fun with, um, but uh, try to hold her hand, uh, 
you get that, you know, that physical escalation a bit that lovers have, you know? So, um, probably you shouldn't be kissing her on the first day, but, um, if you spend, if you end up spending like 10 whole hours together, if you, if you go to m multiple places, uh, um, if you have like the whole day free and she has most of the day free, um, have more things planned if it goes well on the ice cream or whatever you know you take you first day you take them out on something simple coffee ice cream and usually you'll get bored after the first you know 20 minutes or something or i'll get you know wouldn't want to be there for hours and hours but you like the people um so plan on something else like when when i went out first time with dasha we went paddle boarding and then after paddle boarding I offered her, you know, we swam in the water, paddleboarded, the waves almost killed us. You know, someone, um, you know, four-wheeler pulled up and said, hey, whistle to us, come back. You know, I was like, I think we're getting in the riptide. So that that was the end of our paddleboarding. You know, the water was getting too wild. And I said, said Dasha, do you want to just walk on the beach? You know, and then after we walked, we're already like tired kind of. And then I was like, one more thing I gotta think of, and I was like, do you wanna learn how to drive stick? I got this old garbage diesel Jetta. Would you like to try your chest? She's like, I'm gonna break it. And I was like, no, you won't. I promise I'll uh, show you how to do it. And we had a, we still had a good time. So we did three things, even though we planned one on a first date. So uh, if you plan ahead of time, on uh, if, if things go good and you still wanna spend more time, um, maybe things that don't cost mo too much money too, right? Mm -hmm. J just so you can uh, not be bored. And uh, and I I didn't hold Dasha's hand until the second day when we went ice skating. Huh? Nice excuse to mm -hmm. hold hands <laughs> right? uh, in Miami. So uh, yeah, that's that's my uh, thoughts. Um, because she, she seems interested in you and you don't need to know much English to hold a hand, you know, make sure, uh, you know, I say that because a lot of times people forget to do that and you get in the friend zone. You know, I'll, I'll tell you another quick story. I kind of stole Dasha away from a friend of mine who she kind of put in the friend zone. She even named him as a friend in her phone contacts. Why did you do that, Dasha? Even though they met on a dating site. Because he was acting like a friend. Because he was acting like a friend. And acting like a friend means not doing this, <laughs> not saying, hey, and then just playing around with her. You know, oh, I was just making <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so. But if, if you're saying she's flirting with you already on the messages, you know, make sure you you do that. And if you're afraid to take her by the hand or something like that, it's okay to tell her. I say, hey, I kind of want to hold you by the hand. I don't know if it's too early or late, whatever. Um, I'm nervous. Uh, I need to go talk to my mom. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? That would be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's funny, I would right? I love for you. <laughs> yeah, see, you know, you just tell her how you feel, you know. You ju just be, you know, because it's a normal feeling to have. She's probably having crazy feelings too. <laughs> be, be like, you know. Yeah, and just my tip is like to be funny and make jokes, maybe even make jokes of the whole situation if she just like doesn't understand something you say or you don't understand that she says. Like try to learn her, her language, maybe try her to teach you or did you ask you her about the her? love languages you know have her the best language uh, in the uh, world. there's the five love languages uh, there's on um, there's a free test online so uh, have her take that um, to maybe talk a little bit about that figure you know or you make a note for yourself to be looking for that and see what she responds to more you know and so I learned what Dasha responds to. I learned what my mom responds I know what everyone's love language is, kind of, maybe. Just, you know, I'm always kind of like trying to pick up on that stuff. So um, that way, I'm trying to be in the shop more. You know, our faces are supposed to be in the middle. We're too tall. We're, it's okay. Babe. We're, we're too tall for our tripod. So uh, yeah, if you're in Miami area ever, North Miami, 
our church is a very uh, good social place for dates and uh, family type of um, friends friends good positive friends that aren't just gonna be like hey let's go drinking all the time we're on the boat drinking we're at the club drinking we're at the beach drinking <laughs> you know <laughs> that's how some people are out here in Miami but not us not the people in our church you know they have Wednesday night Tuesday night Thursday night meetings you know I whenever I'm in town uh, we're always in the water trying to do something um, so if you want to borrow a junk car to drive around that stick shift you can board. I've got one or a paddleboard message me bring your girlfriend down and be like hey you know this youtuber surge whatever is some guy maybe we can hang out together and search yeah. will help you to get a girl <laughs> yeah um last uh my buddy was in town last weekend we've seen a drug deal go bad get busted on the water you know we had the uh, a miss uh former former miss kiev miss ukraine she was preaching at a church we took her boating my buddy a couple other people and um whatever they all had a good time got each other's instagrams good luck to you all right so uh that's kind of that <laughs> yeah that's kind of what you know we're really happy with each other and we wish everyone else would be like that so come on down visit us in miami and enjoy the beautiful ocean and the the sun and the fun activities and uh, don't drive like my brother And good luck with your Colombian yeah, girl. Yeah, <laughs> comment below. Everybody else, comment below on uh, what, what, would you what, say what then? how you would answer those questions our friend here asked, and um, and maybe he'll update us, and we'll make another update video, see how it goes. And this is crazy. Thanks for watching our videos. Yeah. And um, thanks for writing, search. You owe me a kiss. <laughs> for what? <laughs> For, see, she could say that to you too. Be like, for what? Um, say, okay, you don't owe me a kiss. You can, I give you permission to kiss me. I won't tell my mom. Does that make you want to kiss me more? I'm accepting your permission. All right, see, <laughs> be a boss. <laughs> Aww. <laughs>